Hello! Last time I showed you how easy and nice low-budget custom-built open baffle speakers sound. I tried a pair of speakers as well as four speakers. Honestly, the best price per performance setup is with two speakers. Combine these budget open baffle speakers with a fast subwoofer and you have a great system. Today I will show you how easy it is to make open baffle speakers for less than $100. Anyone can do it in their own home. It is very simple DIY project. The most important part of an open baffle is the speakers, which need to play all frequency ranges. I chose 6.5 inch Visitan BG17 speakers. A better choice would be Visitan BG20, which is an 8 inch driver and would give better low and high frequency playback. But as I already had 4 Visitan BG17 speakers in stock, I'll stick with them for now. You can certainly look at other speakers too. The main thing is to look for speakers that are under the full range speaker category. After that you need to buy laminated chipboards at your local building materials store. If you like carpentry you can also buy plywood and then paint it. For the front panel, I chose a board 110cm long and 25cm wide, with a thickness of 16mm. The corresponding backing plate is 19cm long and 20cm wide. The idea is that when the loudspeaker is placed in the plate, it should be approximately ear height to your listening position. The next step is to draw where you need to cut the hole for the speaker. Ignoring the fact that I put two speakers, that was in the name of science. The best deal is to put one speaker in each place. If you are under 18 and don't want to lose your fingers, you better ask your grandmother to cut the holes to put the speakers in. Then measure speaker holes. If it's a good fit, then choose how big you want your open baffle speakers to be. For me, it's a few degrees to be safe and the speakers don't tip forward. So I will choose about 1 cm free from the bottom to get the desired tilt. Then I have to mark the places on the back plate that interfere with the speaker insertion and cut them out. In my case, it is a bit more complicated because I have two speakers. Once the distracting pieces have been cut out, then measure to make sure everything fits perfectly. Now the hard part seems to be screwing the rear backing plate right in the middle of the front panel. And also remembering about the distance from the bottom, as this affects the tilt angle. Drill holes, so that the screws can be screwed in. There must be enough holes, because the back panel not only supports the front panel against tipping, but also prevents vibrations of the front panel which have a bad effect on the sound. Then, with a large drill bit, Make all screw holes deeper so that the screws can be pushed in and later plugged. Suck a wood chips and you can screw in a halfway all the screws to make sure all the holes fit. If everything fits, then screws can be screwed all the way in. This is what my first open baffle project looks like. Now I have to screw in the other open baffle body. This is a prototype for me. But if you don't want to open it up anymore, it is preferable to sandwich wood glue between the back and front panels before screwing them together. This will give the extra strength you want. Buy support feet at your local Home Depot and glue them under your new baffle speakers so they don't scratch the floor and isolate excess vibration. Before screwing the speakers in, make sure the speaker terminal is on one side or the other. This will make it easier to attach the wires. Then screw the speakers on and connect the wires from the amplifier to them. This is what TechScrew's first open baffle speaker project looks like with one pair of speakers. Now after the test I can say that the best price per performance is with one pair of speakers. That open baffle sound is the bomb. Easily shapes the room and fills it richly. Such a pair of open baffle speakers costs just under $100. Of course. You still need to plug the screw holes and paint the cabinets and you can invite friends over for a sound demo. And get them to guess how much a system like this would cost. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, criticism or suggestions, feel free to post them below this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can meet you in other audio projects. Bye!